Look, what's my name? More money, more cash, more. More money, more cash, more. More money, more cash, more. What's going on guys? Welcome back NBA 2K17. We are in the very last episode of this season. So make sure you guys give this a thumbs up if you guys want to see a season 2. And uh, this is the very last episode. It all comes down to this one. Who will be the NBA champion? So game 5 is in Atlanta. And uh, we really have to bring it here. It's tied 2-2. And we really don't want to go down... 3-2 going back to San Antonio. As you guys can see, Kawhi Leonard's averaging 21 points and pretty much 8 rebounds a game. So for our defense, he definitely is one of the vocal points. Somebody really had to key in and stop throughout this whole entire game. Now we fast forward to the third quarter. It's 50 to 47. That shot right there by Gasol is off. So we see the fast break. We can bring this down by one point as I throw it down right here. Uh, now they did come back and score. So we are on the defensive side, and Manu Ginobili wide open at the top of the key. So now, mid-third quarter is 58-51. to 51. I get open at the top of the key, and I hit a three-ball right there. Trying to get our team to get going a little bit. Um, my offense has been a little stagnant, and the Spurs defense really been showing now, as you guys see Dwight Howard right there. He has been probably one of the most key additions for the Atlanta Hawks uh, throughout this whole season, especially in these playoffs and the NBA Finals. Uh, we even been going to him on the offensive side. He's been making plays, and as you guys see, Paul Millsap has also been stepping up his game. Now, right here, one on one, Tony Parker. I cross over and throw it down. Whenever I see Tony Parker on me, I try to make sure I uh, stay aggressive and go at him, just because he's not that good of a defensive player. Now, here, 88 to 86. One on one with the switch, and I knock down the mid range jumper. So now we are up four points. Under 44 seconds left in this fourth quarter. I get a rebound. Use my speed to get ahead of the whole entire Spurs defense. And I throw it down. So with that one, that might as well be the dagger in game five. One second left and we take the win. So game five, a much needed win at home. Uh, we take the lead in this series. I ended up having 30 points, six rebounds, and four assists. Uh, had to bring in an offensive scoring game just because we needed a lot of help on that side. As you guys see, Kawhi Leonard ended up scoring 27 points, but we held the rest of the team to pretty low scoring average. So that's definitely something we have to focus on going into game six. We can end this whole entire thing right here. And we are definitely going to need Dwight Howard and Paul Millsap to step up in this game six. Now, we're in the third quarter. It's 44 to 48, so it's a pretty low scoring game early on. I go past Tony Parker and throw it down on Paul Gasol. Like I said earlier, anytime I see Tony Parker on me, I'm. A oh my goodness. Kawhi Leonard just flat out threw it down on Paul Millsap. And you guys can see my bench was getting up as if he was going to block it. But Kawhi Leonard, the freakish athlete he is, threw it down on Paul Millsap. And uh, that kind of got their momentum going a little bit. And as you guys see here, they're going to Paul Gasol. He hits the fadeaway jump shot right there. Tough turnaround jumper. And Tony Parker, I'm playing good defense. He hits another mid-range jumper. So the Spurs are kind of feeling it right now. And we give up. And and one to Paul Gasol. So now they've taken a seven point lead in this game. So now 76 to 84. Aldridge with the shot, and that is off. But Kawhi Leonard comes in with the putback dunk. That right there was the dagger to the game. And we go down in game six to the Spurs. 
So the NBA Finals is going to a Game 7. This is going to be huge, Game 7. We're going to be playing at home. And it all comes down to this, guys. 3-3 three to three in the series. And this one final game is going to pretty much decide who will be the NBA champion of the 2017 season. Now, for this Game 7, I've been playing Hall of Fame the whole entire playoffs. But I will be playing in 12-minute quarters for this final game. And this Atlanta crowd is hype. It's a sold out event and it really is gonna take everything we've got. Every game we've played this season all comes down to this, the final game of the year. And we had to bring in and give 150% effort if we wanna be the NBA champions of the 2017 season. In the first quarter, I definitely struggled in the beginning of this game. Right here, going on Tony Parker, I go down the lane and I get blocked by Paul Gasol. In game six, that would be a dunk, but in game seven, I'm struggling a lot. And I've been attacking, trying to be aggressive, I get blocked again. And here I pull up jumper, and that's off. So um, I had to just rely on my passing skills early on in this game. I didn't want to just keep forcing and chucking up shots until I got something good to come to me like this fast break. If I want to get going, I have to get easy baskets like that one there. And here I play great defense, get the steal on the fast break, push it on the break, and I get an and one. There you go. We take a five-point lead in this game and uh, finally feeling my mojo a little bit. And still in the first quarter, ooh, I break down Monte Ginobili, put the shot up, and the three ball is good. Broke his ankles and hit that three, but after getting subbed out, it's 55 to 51 in the second quarter. So we lost our lead. Manu Ginobili dropping down the lane for the throwdown. Father Time definitely is not having any effect on him. And here in the third quarter, we're down nine points right now, so it's go time. We see Bajinka in the corner, and he knocks down that three. So we're falling behind a little bit, and it's game seven, so there's no more coming back from this. And right there, I missed the three ball. Definitely struggled in the third quarter as well. Uh, went 0 for 4 from the three-point line after hitting my first and only three in the first half. So I had to turn that around, continue attacking the basket, and that's exactly what I do right there with the slam. Seems like the best thing for me to do is to be aggressive and attack the paint. And when I get easy baskets like that, it gets my shot going, gets my three ball going, and that's exactly what you saw there. And even get my playmaking and my teammates going as well. So now it's 97-94 in the fourth. I go down here, try to double LaMarcus Aldridge. He swings it back to Tony Parker, and that was a bad mistake on my part as he knocks down that three. Now 101-94. Give it to Paul Millsap and he gets the lay-in right there. So we're coming from behind right now. It's crunch time and we need a bucket ASAP. Right there, get the lay-in on Tony Parker. Like I said before, if I see him guarding me, I will attack. And Kent Bazemore gets the steal. Too fast for the opponent and I throw it down. We are getting close right now. We're down five, under two minutes left. And another throw down as I cut past Tony Parker down the lane. And right here, Kyle Corver wide open. He knocks down the shot. We're down two points. 41 seconds left. Aldridge in the post on Millsap. He uses a spin move. And he knocks down that layup. That is not looking good for us. Right here, Paul Millsap with the ball. Tries to swing it to Dwight Howard. And that is stolen by Paul Gasol. And our championship hopes are slowly disappearing right here. Paul Millsap in the paint on Tony Parker and he breaks it and now we have to play the fouling game Tony Parker hits one free throw and it's too late we lose in game seven to the San Antonio Spurs and they've done it the new NBA champions and how about the road that these guys have been down and it ends with an NBA championship a heartfelt congratulations to everyone who's taking part and that celebration right there, pure joy. You have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing, they're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks. So the Spurs all take long. the championship. This is Kevin Harlan we saying We go so down long. in game seven. Have a wonderful so now summer. it's gonna be in the offseason. 
I'm definitely thinking about staying in Atlanta and trying to come back to compete for another championship. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button and comment season two. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I am signing out for season one of 2K17, my career. Look, I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. Million dollar skins and billion dollar. I got million dollar skins and billion dollar flows. I put my heart in this world, cause that's just all that I know.